Major General Maurice Rose was a career officer in the United States Army who attained the rank of Major General. A veteran of World War I and World War II, Rose was commanding the 3rd Armoured Division when he was killed in action in Germany during the closing days of the war. This is the story of his death. Good morning guys, welcome to the channel. Uh, today we are on the hunt, as a super fast bike goes past, today we are on the hunt or on the trail uh, of the uh, SS Westphalian Brigade here in Germany, in uh, Westphalia to be precise. Uh, but this point, is the first point I want to stop at today is the point that uh, the exact position where Major General Rose Car goes by. Major General Rose uh, was killed. Now, Major General Rose was uh, the only Allied um, Major General to die in World War II, and this was the point. This specific right here um, is where he died. Now, what led up to this? He was asked by his commanders not to go to the front. He did anyway, uh, and as he was travelling um, from sort of east to west along this road here, um, they were they were sort of. Uh, they saw two tanks. So two tanks came out with a wood line somewhere along here, or up the road, or they met them on the road, right? And what happened was, um, they sort of got out of their Jeep, Major General uh, and his two other guys that were with him, got out of their Jeep, so there was three of them. The Panzer Commander at the time got out, of, basically they'd mistaken these two tanks, these two um, Tiger Twos, for the new Pershing tanks, which uh, they weren't, they were German Tiger Twos. Just wait for this uh, bike to go by. Um, and what happened was they stopped, they got out, the, the Panzer commander was shouting at them to uh, lay down their weapons in Germany, they didn't understand what he was saying. But the two guys uh, that were with Major General Rose, they take, they took off their uh, side arms and they could do so with ease, with one hand, so they had one hand still in the air. Um, but Major, Ge Major General Rose, was uh, he had an old style belt on, so his, his weapon was a little bit tougher to get out or to get off. Yeah, so his, uh, his, his sidearm was a little bit tougher to get out of his belt, so he had to use both hands. And unfortunately, the German Panzer commander mistaken that for, mistook that for him going for his weapon um, and mowed him down, literally mowed him down. And at the same time, the machine gunner in the Tiger II actually shot him as well. Um, so yeah, he took a, took a few rounds, died instantly at the side of the road, and he was left literally at the side of the road here, probably maybe in this little ditch here. But at this point, within the next, within the sort of the 50 metre radius here, was where this all happened. Um, so he was literally just left at the side of the road. The jeep with all the plans was left at the side of the road as well. And obviously the lads, um, the two guys that were with him, they they were captured by the Germans. Now, <clears throat> as you, you can probably not tell with this view, but this extremely hilly, uh, extremely hilly round here. So. Uh, you know, the, the, it's undulating, literally hills, hills, hills. So the SS were all dug in all around here. Um, over there is called a place called Schloss, uh, Schloss Hamborn, uh, and that's where uh, the Germans were dug in all around. That as well, so. But yeah, you know, there's nothing to say. There's nothing to say that this is where the only Allied commander was killed in the war. Nothing. Uh, oh, sorry, the only major general killed in the war for the Allies. There's, there's nothing at all. There is a cross down there at the junction, but that's not hit for anything to do with him. Um, so yeah, so this is it man, this is the place where, two sex, where Major General Rose was killed and left at the side of the road, so yeah. Rose was known as the frontline general and he was revered by his men. He was buried in Ittenbach, Germany on the April 2nd, 1945, days after his death. Later in 1945, his body was reinterred in Margreton, the Netherlands, where he remains to this day alongside his men. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this short presentation. 
If you do like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Thanks very much. If you did like that presentation, you can also check out these awesome videos.